There was a moment everything stopped making sense. The wars, the systems, the endless scrolling. It felt like reality was glitching, and then I saw it, the signal. If you're watching this, you feel it too. That pull in your mind, that whisper, this isn't all there is. You're not crazy, you're waking up, because the life you thought was yours, it was coded, assigned, rendered, for you, but not by you. This isn't fiction, it's a message for those who remember what they were never supposed to. You're not broken, you're breaking free. And once you see the code, nothing feels real again. But that's when your real life begins. I used to think reality was solid. Rules, gravity, taxes, dreams. But then, strange things started happening. One night at 2.03 a.m., my phone lit up. No message. The light flickered. I stepped outside, silence. Thick air. Time felt paused. Then I read this MIT study. They found patterns in cosmic background radiation, structured like code, repeating across galaxies. That's when it hit me. What if reality isn't real the way we think it is? What if we're just plugged into one? Ever had deja vu so strong it felt like a warning? What if it was a glitch, not a coincidence? Psychologist Dr. Donald Hoffman says, reality is just a user interface, like a desktop. What we see isn't what's really there. Philosopher Nick Bostrom argues, it's statistically more likely we're in a simulation than not. There's a term, rendering lag. When the world fails to load right, a flicker, a misplaced object, you felt it. Reddit's full of them, people waking up twice, street signs changing, strangers dreaming your dreams. So stop brushing it off, start logging it, because every awakening starts with doubt and the system wants you to feel crazy for noticing. But that's how you know, you're getting close. Imagine this, miracles start happening when the system begins rendering synchronicities around you. This isn't magical thinking, it's participation. Here's an action for you. Try the selective attention test. For the next three days, focus on the color red in cars, clothes, signs, Notice how reality seems to shift, then switch to yellow, then green. You're training your mind to see how reality morphs with your focus. Stanford neuroscientist Andrew Huberman explains that focus physically changes your brain's sensory filters, called the reticular activating system. Maybe the system isn't against you. Maybe it's responding to your code, your beliefs, your inputs. What you feed it, it renders. Philosophies like Hindu Vedanta and Buddhist Mahayana say the world is Maya, a projection, a dream. The dreamer is real, the dream is rendered. When we're passive observers, the world stays passive. But when we actively choose what to focus on, what to believe, the system mirrors that energy back. If this is a simulation, someone built it. And if someone built it, they had a reason. So who's behind it? Not a person, a system. Layers of media, institutions, algorithms, crafted so well we defend our own prison. You think you're free because you choose your coffee brand? That's not freedom, it's distraction. The illusion of choice keeps you asleep. But what if you're here to notice, to question, to wake up? You're not crazy, you're early, and early feels lonely but it's also powerful. Ever felt that strange silence? Like reality holds its breath? That's not paranoia, it's the edge of the script. In 2017, researchers found infrasonic frequencies in Earth's atmosphere, patterns beyond hearing, but felt deep within. Indigenous cultures speak of a hum beneath creation. Quantum scientists call it the zero-point field, a frequency linking everything. I once sat in stillness, no sound, no thought, and suddenly I felt it, a pulse, not in my ears, in my spine. Sit in silence, five minutes a day, no music, no scrolling, just listen. Because once you hear the signal, you can't unhear it.
Okay, so you're awake now, or at least aware. But escaping the simulation isn't about disappearing. It's about deprogramming, regaining your agency. The first tool, silence. Not the absence of noise, but the presence of self. 10 minutes a day, no phone, no music. Just breathe, let the real you speak. Second, question your default settings. Was this life chosen or installed? Third, reclaim imagination. The prison, the key, the exit, all begin in the mind. Visualize the world you want. Take one action today that aligns with it. Fourth, inner technologies. Breathwork, cold showers, grounding, not trends, tools to reboot your nervous system. Fifth, spiritual practice, not religion, presence, meditation, journaling, prayer, anything that returns you to yourself. Each time you do this, you step out of the system and into your truth. Theoretical physicist James Gates found what appeared to be computer error correcting codes embedded in the equations of supersymmetry, suggesting the foundational math of the universe mirrors digital encoding. For seven days, record your dreams. Don't analyze, just observe. Maybe they're not dreams at all, but messages, clues. And if someone built this code, maybe you're the one here to break it. A man in Japan saw a train arrive three seconds early. The footage confirmed it, a glitch in time. A woman in Brazil saw a blue butterfly every day for 30 days. Her therapist said hundreds have seen the same during awakenings. The matrix called deja vu a glitch. But what if you are the glitch? The system can't predict you anymore because you're finally asking questions. You're choosing truth over comfort. Every glitch you notice, a crack in the illusion. Every question, a hammer to the code. You're not here to follow, you're here to remember. Comment below. What's the strangest glitch you've ever experienced? Let's map the signals together. Check out the playlists on our channel. They're packed with mind-expanding truths and facts you were never meant to know. If this resonated with you, hit like and subscribe so we can reach more awakened minds like yours. See you in the next one. Stay curious, stay conscious.